أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا وإمامنا وقائدنا رسول الله محمد اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليك سيدي يا رسول الله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما Truly we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we thank him and we show our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only God worthy of worship the creator, the sustainer, the provider, the cherisher the one who created us to worship him and the one that we show our gratitude and our our worship to him subhanahu wa ta'ala with a sincere heart and I bear witness openly that there is no God worthy of worship except him and I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the final and the seal of the messengers of Allah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our gathering welcome to the day number 28 and subhanallah just I'm, I'm remembering a few days ago we used to say how to prepare ourselves spiritually for Ramadan. And we used to say, welcome Ramadan. <laughs> but today and tomorrow, we could say goodbye Ramadan and the farewell of Ramadan. We will miss you Ramadan. Yes, still, alhamdulillah, we have almost like two days of fasting. But subhanAllah, as Allah said, ayyaman ma'dudat, just few days and Ramadan passes very quickly. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting in Ramadan and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless what remained in Ramadan and give us the, the, the chance to worship him more and more and give us the ability so we can remember him and worship him. Dear respected brothers and sisters, as we used to have, alhamdulillah, we start our session by reciting Quran and we honored and blessed by having Imam Hisham. And uh, mashallah, Imam Hisham, now all of you, alhamdulillah, know him. Mashallah, Imam Hisham, the Imam in the religious ministry in Egypt, graduated in Al Azhar University. And he is our colleague, our brother, our friend. He's hafid for the Quran and he's a good reciter for the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from him. Allahumma ameen ya rabbin alameen. Yes, Imam Hisham, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Masha'Allah, Shaykh Hanab. Uh, please, can we start, inshallah, our session by listening to the Quran and the beautiful recitation from you, inshallah? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ليظهره على الدين 
الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا محمد رسول محمد رسول الله والذين معه أشداء على الكفار رحماء بينهم والذين معه أشداء على الكفار رحماء تراهم ركعا سجدا يبتغون فضلا من الله ورضوانا سيماهم في وجوههم أثر السجود ذلك مثلهم في التوراة ومثلهم في الإنجيل كزرع أخرج شطأه فآزره فاستغلظ فاستوى على سوقه يعجب الزراع ليغيظ بهم الكف وعد الله الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات منهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد رب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين
ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا صدق الله العظيم إن شاء الله تبارك الله سبحان الله you attracted our hearts then you grabbed our hearts then you took it to another world subhanallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you Imam Hisham mashallah beautiful beautiful recitation may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you Allahumma ameen ya rabbil alameen and we have Imam Jalal assalamu alaikum shaykhana and I think you are so thrilled by the, the recitation of Imam Hisham عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته شيخنا الجميل الكريم بارك الله فيكم طبعا شيخ هشام ما شاء الله يعني ما شاء الله يعني شيء فوق الوصف ربنا سبحانه وتعالى أعطاه حسن الخلق والخلق ما شاء الله رب العالمين وحسن الصوت والتجويد الرائع الجميل فربنا سبحانه وتعالى يا ربي يتم نعمته عليه آمين يا رب العالمين حاجة حاجة جميلة ما شاء الله رب العالمين آمين آمين يا رب الله بارك الله فيكم عايزين نشوفه هنا مولانا عايزين نجيبه هنا إن شاء الله yes, we, we want we want him to come here yes, <تصفيق> yes. <تصفيق> maybe next رمضان إن شاء الله we can, نتشرف we, we can bring him to the, to the three مساجد إن شاء الله إن شاء الله أهلا وسهلا but if he if he came I think إن شاء الله I I I reserve and I book him for Half of the month for me, okay? MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Barakallah, Barakallah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. And we will start snatching him, you know? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from him, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Dear respected brothers and sisters, it is another day, Alhamdulillah. And today, Ramadan 28, and we will pray the taraweeh tonight of the night of 29th of Ramadan. And subhanallah, it's one of the odd nights. So we have the, the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to exert more efforts during the odd nights. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to worship him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept after we worship him, may Allah accept and grant us the sincerity and the pure heart. Allahumma ameen ya rabbil alameen. And remember brothers and sisters, we are, you know, few days uh, uh, away from the, the day of Eid. And there is one of the actions, and it is one of the acts of worship that we need to do before Eid Salah, which is Zakatul Fitri. To give Zakatul Fitri, to give that, that amount or this Zakat, which if, if you wanted to give it as crops or or even money, whatever the, op the opinion that you are adopting, but you need to give Zakatul Fitri. And Zakatul Fitri, it's wajib, for everyone can afford it. And it has lots of benefits. I just wanted to share the time with you and Imam Jalal, inshallah, and we are going to listen to him about what is the significance of Zakatul Fitri. Why it is so important in our religion. And let me tell you, first of all, about the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrated by Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma. And we explained before and we mentioned who is Ibn Abbas. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma wulida qabla al-hijrati bi thalath sanawat. He was born before hijra, three years before hijra. Waluqiba bi turjuman al-Qur'an wa habru al-ummati wal-bah. And he has Lots of titles that you can find in the, the Sunnah. He has the, the one who gave the interpretation for the Quran. And the, one of his titles also that he is the ocean. That means he has lots of knowledge. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma rawa an Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alfun wa sutumatun wa sittuna haditha. He narrated one thousand. 660 hadith 
he by himself narrated that number of the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And not only this, Abdullah ibn Abbas had lots of contribution in our Islamic history. And he died when he was 71 years old. And the, the one who made Salatul Janazah is Muhammad ibn al-Hanafiyya. And he is the brother of al-Hasan and, and al-Husayn from the side of Sayyidina Ali, of course. So when he died and he made the Salatul Janazah on him, Muhammad ibn al-Hanafiyya said, مَا تَوَاللَّهِ خَيْرُ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ Today, one of the best of this ummah have passed away. So we are talking about one of the greatest mountains and leaders in our Islamic history when we talk about Abdullah ibn Abbas. And actually he is the cousin of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the son of Al-Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib. And he had the relationship with Rasulullah. And actually Rasulullah was the one who raised who raised him up, was the one who took care of him while he was young. He, he used to teach him a lot. He is the one who narrated this hadith that we are talking about. Abdullah ibn Abbas said, فَرَضَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ زَكَاةُ الْفِطْرِ عَلَى الْقَادِرِ فَمَنِ اسْتَطَاعَ أَنْ يُخْرِجَهَا قَبْلَ الْعِيدِ فَهِيَ زَكَاةُ الْمَقْبُولَةِ وَمَنْ أَخَّرَهَا لِمَا بَعْدَ الْعِيدِ فَهِيَ صَدَقَةِ That Zakat al-Fitri, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, had made it obligatory upon those people who can afford it, who give it before Eid Salah, so it would be count as Zakat. And who delayed till after Eid, that would be counted as Sadaqa. So Sayyiduna Abdullah ibn Abbas is teaching us about the timing. And it is also tuhratun min al-laghwi wal-rafat wa tu'matun lil masakin. It is the way that you purify your fasting through giving zakah. So sometimes you did not fast properly. Some days you indulged in backbiting, in gossiping, in lying, or you said something bad while you are fasting in Ramadan. How could you fix all of these mistakes by giving your zakah? And it is so important. So let me go directly to Imam Jalal. So he teaches us about more and more about zakat al-fitri, insha'Allah. Yes, Imam Jalal. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sayyidina Mawlana, Shazakallah khairan. Sayyidina Mawlana, Sheikh Hashem, Barakallah feek. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Everybody attend to this beautiful and wonderful gathering. May Allah Azza wa Jal gather us together in paradise. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-mursaleen. Sayyidina Muhammad, al-Nabi al-Ummi al-Ameen. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim tasliman kathira. Thumma amma ba'd. All praise is due to Allah. Glory be to him. We seek his help and his forgiveness. Whosoever Allah guided him, there is no one can misguide. And who went stray, there is no one, no one can bring him again or guide him again, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a very important topic today uh, that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessing upon him, he's the one who, who made this like obligation upon us, wajib, fard, about the surety. We know, dear respected brothers and sisters, there is two types of surety. This charity here for Zakat al-Fitr, <coughs> excuse me, and it is only for, for Ramadan, after Ramadan. And there is another Zakat that we do it like our regular Zakat. Regular Zakat it's meaning after one year. Our regular charity, it's based on, we can, we can give it to eight types of the people. But this particular Zakat here, we can give it only to two types of the people. Like Ibn Taymiyyah, he said, may Allah be pleased, him, be, be pleased uh, upon him. I mean, Rabbil Alameen. He said that it's only for Al-Fuqara wal masakin And only for two types of the people. They are the poor people and the needy people. Al-Fuqara wal masakin And how we do it, how we do it, it's only also two types. Two types. 
It can be either or. It can be with the food, with the date, with the rice, or, or, or types of food, or it could be with the money. The regular zakah, our regular charity, we pay it with the money, like for, for every year, except for, of course, the one who uh, have the, <clears throat> the, the farmers, they pay different way. But for all of us, we pay their money. But this particular zakah here, preferring, preferring, even three of the emma, they said prefer to pay it by food. Why? Why prefer to pay it by food? In order to keep the sunnah of the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is what the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Except for Imam Abu Hanifa, he the one who said we can pay it with, with the money. So that's why alhamdulillah for the easiest thing. And, and by the way, this is a big responsibility for the Imams and for the people who are, who are responsible about the masjid or in, in a board of the masjid that they have to take this money from, from you, then after they take this money from you, they have to give it also to the poor people or to the needy people, or they, they you know, they, they can buy the, the rice or the date, and, and inshallah, Imam Ahmad, again, also go more details about, about that. So, end of the day, my dear respected brothers and sisters, this is to provide, you know, our, our action, purification for our action, pure to our action. We didn't, alhamdulillah, we, we make fasting, alhamdulillah, for the whole month. But, of course, like, uh, sometimes we just uh, look one time to the Facebook, one time to talk here, talk there. So, any kind of action, you know, so, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, this is just zakah in order to, 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 to make our, our fasting is good, like the way it's supposed to be, inshallah, in front of Allah, azza wa jal. This is about the zakat uh, al-fit, inshallah. I back to my Imam Ahmed, then we're going to continue to talk again about it. Jazakallah. Ja'Allah, Shaykhana, Barakallahu Feekum, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you. Yes, as, as our Imam, Imam Jalal mentioned about Zakat al-Fitri, the main idea of Zakat al-Fitri is to purify yourself from anything bad happened during the month of Ramadan. So you, inshallah, you are hoping that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take your fasting like pure one and you will get the full reward of Ramadan inshallah. I just wanted Imam Jalal to speak about also something very important. I wanted to warn and to alert my brothers and sisters and uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, Abu Abdullah says, he asks uh, another question here. So uh, we took a long, long time Abu Abdullah, we, we, we forgot you. And we, we thought that we got rid we got rid of you, but have you came back? You pop up again on the session. Had zakatul fitri min al faraidi. It's one of the wajibat. It's one of the wajibat. We he, he thought that when we talk about faraid, that's like salah and siyam and regular zakat. So it is wajib. And the the the, the term that Abdullah ibn Abbas used in the hadith farada rasulullah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it is far different than the far which is Salah, but it is wajib, means if you can do it, and if you didn't, then you will be sinful. You will get a sin if you didn't give your zakah and while you can afford it. So uh, before we, we move to the other time, uh, the, the other topic that I wanted to tell the brothers and sisters about, it is so important to understand these days, especially where, while we are, you know, ready for the time of Eid. You know the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when we mentioned at the beginning of Ramadan, that when Ramadan comes, as Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned about the devils, about the shayateen, they will be chained, they will be locked, and they will not come closer to you. So you are protected from the shayateen. That may, that may explain the good status that you have, that you could upgrade your Iman because the shayateen is away from you. And I wanted to talk, Imam Jalal, and maybe we can continue tomorrow, inshallah, about the tactics of the shaytan. You as a Muslim, you should be aware when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, inna shaytana lakum adu, surely, the, the, the obvious 
enemy for you is the shaitan. So now you are a Muslim, you have the Iman, you made a, you made good, uh, 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 you made good portion and a good type of ibadah in Ramadan. So now you are protected. You have the Iman on you. You got the shelter and the armor on your chest, but you have in the background, you have behind you the most of the enemies, the worst of the enemies, which is the shaitan, is waiting for you to attack you and to destroy your iman to go back as you was before Ramadan. And this is one of the things that the majority of Muslims are losing at the first day of Eid, at the first day of Eid. So please be aware of this. We need to talk about the tactics of the shaitan. Be ready because once the Eid starts, you are in a war with the shaitan. You have a battlefield, your own battlefield with the shaitan. Shaitan wanted to destroy your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So be aware of the, the shaitan and you have to study the strategy and the tactics of the shaitan, what the shaitan could tell you or can do with you. So I want you to be protected from the, the shaitan and the whisper of the shaitan. One of the things before I go back to Imam Jalal, it is about the khutbah. We used to hear about khutbah of Eid, khutbah of Jumu'ah. I wanted tomorrow to tell you about the khutbah of the shaitan on the day of judgment. Could you imagine that the shaitan is going to give khutbah on the day of judgment? And maybe tomorrow, inshallah, I just wanted you to be excited to attract your minds to come tomorrow early, inshallah, so you will listen. What is the what the shaitan is going to say on the day of judgment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What is his khutbah about on the day of judgment? So Imam Jalal, what do you think about this topic, tactics of the shaitan? Beautiful as usual, like you, like you said, my dear respected uh, brother, Imam Ahmad, may Allah bless you. Of course, he wait, he wait on a door, you know, he wait to be free after a 30 day in, in, in prison, prison. So he want to be free. Here I am, here I come to you. And subhanAllah, unfortunately, at the same time, a lot of people, a lot of our brothers and sisters, they're thinking that, Alhamdulillah, we did it. We fasting Ramadan, Alhamdulillah, and we pray Tarawih, and we pray Tahajjud, and we make Atikaf, so Alhamdulillah, we are free, let's go and celebrate. So they do it by the wrong way, not by the correct way. We celebrate, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Allah Azza wa Jalla said, the celebration for, for us is, Allah to saying Allahu Akbar. Allah is bigger, ya akhi. One of the things, uh, by, by the way, my, my dear respect, Imam uh, Ahmad, may Allah bless you. The word is of Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. I agree, I agree. But actually the, the, the real translation to this word is Allah is bigger, bigger. Allah is the greatest. Yes, of course, Allah is the greatest. But the real translation is Allah is bigger. Bigger than what? Bigger than me bigger than my problem, bigger than my financial problem, bigger than our society, bigger than everyone, bigger than oh, everything all over the world. He the creator, subhanAllah Azim. So it's not, it's not like good. If we like say Allahu Akbar and thinking about something else smaller than the bigger, because Allah bigger and bigger and bigger than everything. So celebration should be with remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, we have our Eid, alhamdulillah. Allah gives us that and this great bounty from the generosity of Allah. But we should, again, we shouldn't. And I remember Imam, uh, Imam Muhammad uh, Yahya, may Allah bless him, Ameen Rabbil Ameen, and so we'll see him inshallah tomorrow. He said the significant thing that Ramadan this didn't done yet, you know. So today, inshallah, it could be the night of the power also. You know, it shouldn't be like only in, on 27. It could be today, inshallah, it could be tonight, the night of the power. And let me say to you one thing, my dear respected brothers and sisters, and also Sheikh Ahmed said it before, and Imam Muhammad and me, and let me add this, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiveness for the whole year, every day, every second. Allah is the most merciful every day, every second. 
Allah is the most forgiveness, subhanAllah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the great things we do about the, for example, just to keep the sunnah, to keep about the, the, <clears throat> the charity of, of zakat al-fitr. Al you remember when, when we are traveling from one uh, distance to the other distance, if we go back, for example, to, to India or to Pakistan or to any, uh, to any uh, country, when we go, we should pray three days like short salah, salat al-musafir, short salah. Why? Because, because just to keep the sunnah. Yeah, if you know, problem with some people saying, you know, some brothers and sisters, no problem. Pray four. So what happened if you pray the four? Yes, if we pray the four, if we pray the four, it is like, uh, I cannot open the door. Can, can you open the door for him? Thank you. So subhanallah uh, al if, if you pray two raka only, if you pray four raka, it's okay, no problem. But if you pray two, you keep the sunnah of the Prophet of Allah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is the most important thing, to keep the sunnah of the Prophet alive, you know, all the time. So same thing with the surety also. But about the, the topic for tomorrow, inshallah, this wonderful topic, yes, yes, sir. Especially, I like the, I like what you said about the khutbah of, of you know, of, you know of the lecture of the shaitan. You know what he gonna say? You know, in the day of judgment, in front of Allah, in front of everyone, yes. he'll, 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 he'll talk to us. He gonna talk to everyone. You know, so, so it is really great football. Hi. It is Hi, how are you? You know the, the tactics of the shaitan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and keep us safe from the whispers of the shaitan. And, and as you said, Imam Jalal, yes, it, the, the marathon did not finish yet and the competition is still active. And we need to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our best till the end of Ramadan. May Allah accept from all of us, Allah And okay. before I go quickly to Imam Hisham for the du'a, because we want to make dua inshallah for uh, one of our brothers who is doing surgery right now heart surgery brother hisham that may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him shifa ya rabbil alameen so one of the things that we wanted to to know about uh, zakatul fitri one of the brothers asked Hal al tajibu alayhi zakatul fitri? if someone passed away during the month of ramadan should we should his relatives pay zakat on his behalf no, they are not required to pay zakah on his behalf. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our zakah. Please, Imam Hisham, we get back to you for the dua, inshallah. We have almost three minutes, inshallah, for the dua. Barakallahu feekum, Imam Hisham. Yes, go ahead. Allahumma lak alhamdu hamdan tayyiban mubarakan fihi ya rabbal alameen. اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا ونبينا محمد في الأولين والآخرين وفي الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وأصلح يا رب أحوالنا اللهم لا تدع لنا في تلك الليلة المباركة ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ارحم موتانا واشف مرضانا واشف مرضانا ويسر لنا امورنا واصلح لنا احوالنا اللهم انا نسالك ان تختم لنا هذا الشهر العظيم بالرضوان والفوز بنعيم الجنان والعذق من النيران وأن تمتعنا بالنظر إلى وجهك يا رحمن وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد الهادي الأمين بارك الله فيكم شيخنا جزاكم الله خيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر 
Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا جزاكم الله خيرا بارك الله فيكم جزاكم الله خيرا بارك الله فيكم سيدنا جزاكم الله خيرا رفع الله قدركم في الدنيا والاخره ان شاء الله وتقبل الله يحفظك مولانا الشيخ جزاكم الله خيرا امام هشام ان ان شاء الله وي ويل هاف امام يحيى tomorrow ان شاء الله and he will join our session may Allah accept from all of you السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته عليكم السلام